Hello, it's Sally here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm going to be working on my Jessie Chorley um, journal that um, I've been stitching. Um, it seems ages since I last posted um, one of these videos um, for this one. And so I thought I'd get stuck back into it because I've done all of the um, little pieces now. Um, let me just put that over there out of the way for a moment. Um, that's my journal itself. Um, so yeah, I've done all the components for the first page. So I've done my heart. Well, I've nearly finished it. I've not quite finished it. Um, I've done my heart uh, because this this was heart. Was it? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Hang on. Um, let's have a look. What was this one called? I can't remember. Is it just front page? I'm not sure. I know the next one is heart and dove. Um, this one's called. Where does it come from? Front cover. Heart and heart and bow. That's right. I knew it was something. So yeah, the heart and the bow. So I've done that. Um, I've done my little swan. Uh, my little swan, um, I've used my own template. I've drawn my own templates rather than um, trace anything or copy anything um, from this. So in my little heart, I've put a um, little bee um, and I've used a little bit of tape measure for that. Um, my swan is my own design. Um, I've put a little crown on her as well. Um, butterfly again I've just put some little these are flowers from doilies and then a little bit, bit of um, embroidery on glow in that and for the key I, I've couched it down in gold I've just done um, six kisses and a little heart um, for that so I'm ready now to transfer this onto my front page um, so I am going to grab my scissors. <laughs> this is the um, the daunting bit when you have to cut out your work now. Um, so I've read the instruction. It says keep, keep about one centimetre gap, hem all the way around. I think I'll just about get away with that um, on these. I'm going to just, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to, let's cut the heart out first. Um, so about a centimetre or so. approximately I'll cut it out I've not um, I've not cut into this because I love this border on this um, this napkin so I'm going to um, save this napkin for I might put some on it on onto that the um, the, the the journal itself um, if I get a space that's um that's you know it looks like it could do with a little bit of something um oh, it's about a centimeter i think i've not measured it but i've got to kind of be a little careful while i'm doing this so that we've got a little bit of um gap either side same with my swan i've probably got a little bit too close but um Hopefully I can make it. Right, so that's my heart cut out. I should have ironed it earlier, but I haven't. I'm just going to cut my swan out. Again, trying to keep, trying to keep a one centimetre border all the way around. There's my swan. I'm doing my butterfly. I've not put the antenna on my butterfly yet because I thought I would um, actually stitch it while it's once I've got it on. So the stitching for my that's a bit close there, isn't it? The stitching for my antenna will be kind of go over the applique bit and um, onto my actual journal itself. This is a bit close as well. Sure, I'll be fine. I don't think um, need a massive hem around it. Right, that's my butterfly, and then I'll just pop my key off as well. Okay, a bit close, but um, I can trim later.
I think I've probably been overly generous on the have on the um what would it be called the the edges the border I don't know so that's going to um go into my scraps box um obviously keep that bit and keep all that edging as well so that will pop over there for now um and I'm just going to arrange them on here so I'm going to start with this one obviously because this is the biggest um and then once that's on I'm going to pop my Right, the, the butterfly, Jessie's done the butterfly there, so I might do my butterfly there, just to be slightly, have a slightly different feel. Put my little swan there. Her swan's up in that top corner, but... Um, I'm just having a, sorry. I'm just glancing over at this, at this just to see her heart is over. Is not central. I'm just having a look at the. Um, design again. Yeah, it's not set. OK, it's not central, so that's off center. I'm presuming so these can fit on and that can fit on. Right, okay. Let's keep that there. So not central, but into this top corner. Oh, that's right. And that's going to give me enough space for my swan, my butterfly, and my key. Hmm. I've just got to remember that I have got a Suffolk puff to put here. I've chosen my Suffolk puff. Um, yep, that one. That's going to be my Suffolk puff, just so that I can make sure that I've got... Yeah, that's going to have to... Once that's tucked under and everything, it doesn't matter if it goes over a little bit. I'm not bothered about it too much. I think that'll be okay, though. So I'm going to put my butterfly in this corner here, my swan there, and my key up in this top corner, I think. Yeah, definitely swan there. I like this one there. Or should I put the butterfly? No, there's not enough room for my butterfly. Oh, hang, hang on. I'm just looking at Jessie's work, and she's actually gone over the heart with her swan. Okay, so I could put my butterfly in that corner and that leaves the key for that corner, which is, but I don't suppose it matters, does it? Or should I put that there and the key up here? going there actually right so take those off let's get the heart on first so I think that's about right so I'm only working on one page of this I don't know whether this is whether I should have put it all together first or not but um, that's they were the instructions so I'm gonna go along with it for now um, I need some pins. Start on a straight bit. some of that book off there.
the instructions do say press it with an iron, but um, I'm just going to see how I go for now, I'm tucking it under. into this a little bit just to give it a little bit of give as I go around the corner. And into that as well. I'm just going to do this one first just in case I've gone wrong. Have I, have I got that right? I think I've got that right. I probably need one there actually as well where it just starts to curve. Let's do that one as well. Just mean that the fabric won't pull so much. When I go around with my needle, I can always tuck them, tuck it in a little bit smoother if it's not looking quite right. But I'm quite happy so far with it. It's not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Like that. Okay, there, I was just sticking out slightly too much, but like I say, I can go around with my needle as I'm stitching it on. So, no problem. Oh. Do that tan a little bit more just to get it in a little bit more like that. Okay, I'm just going to snip, smooth those out of the way before I spill them. I'm just going to snip some of this. Taking care not to snip the fabric underneath. Okay, um, I think that'll be okay. All right, let's try and get a little bit more under here. Maybe it's easier to do it with a, a needle. They have to be manipulated with my needle when I come to sew. Whoops, Daisy, thought I'd knock my pins over. I'm just leaning over there. I'm hoping you're not getting my head in, but sorry if you are. I'm trying not to shove my head under the camera. <laughs>
I'm just going to go back to this one here. I kind of ignored this first of all because I didn't want to do it, but um, I suppose I have. I'm going to tuck it in first, then over that way, then over that way. Hopefully that will do what I need it to do. Yep, so that's not bad. And then that should fit under there, hopefully. Not too much problem. So let's go up this way for a little bit. Making sure it's all pushed down. So it's going to lie flat. So that's not too bad. It will need just a couple of tweaks, I think, when I come to sew it on. All right, so let's just have a look at that. Does it look straight? Hang on, I'm just going to lift it up. Yes, it looks straight. Okay, so that's the first one. Right, let's get that on. Um, so, instructions say just a light colour, um, you can use whatever colour you like. Um, I'm thinking of a pink kind of to match this edge here. Now I've got the Perlay, but is that going to be too thick? I think it will be. So let's try and find a light pink. I've got all these trims as well. With, um, let me get them out of the way. <laughs> In the way at the moment. Right, let's pop the trims there for adorning later and what am I looking for? A light pink aren't I? So there's a very pale pink which I think they're probably about the same actually. Um, just having a look to see if I've used anything. Oh, I've used, used that salmon pink already. Mm, it's a bit dark. I'm going to use this one. I don't think I've used it yet. Um, Save that for later. So I might have to use that again. I'm using two strands. Oh, I know what I forgot to do, which is very, very silly of me. I forgot to um, address that because now I've stitched it on. It's going to be harder for me to get it attached. Okay, I'm just going to address it now because I can still take this off um, and it's, it's going to be so much easier for me. Um, on Jessie's uh, piece, she has a little clock face um, and I don't have any clock faces. And I forgot to look in there. I said I was going to look in the, um, the antique shop. But I forgot to look. Um, so I'm going to resort to a button. So I've got some buttons here. Love that one. But I think it's a bit too big. So those are my two options. There's that one there, which I thought went well with this. Or I've got a peachy one, which I absolutely adore. And I've been just waiting for the right project to put that on. And I think it's got to be this one. I just love it so much. Peach is one of my favourite colours. So I think I'm going to have to go peachy. So that's going on there and I'm going to do it now before I go any further. So I think <laughs> drat, double drat, but hey ho. I'll take those out. Hopefully it's creased and I won't be able to, you know, and it's, um, I've creased it a little bit so it'll have a bit of a memory of where it was. I'm just going to take some of these out just so that it's easier for me to, to sew it on. Right, so it's going to go here. I um, don't know whether to, yeah, I know what I'm going to do with those. Right, I'm going to sew it on with this colour, which I've just picked out for the edges. Very pale, pale pink. 
um, first of all, what I'm going to do is just get these mm -mm, these ends. I don't want to cut them too much because I don't want them to um, it to unravel. But I'm hoping that I can just kind of um, get them to go. Have I just done that? Look at that. What a, what a numpty I am. Let's get rid of that and start again. try and control them just rid of that 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 Let's see if I can sew them down basically underneath what will be my button so you can't see them just these little ends I'm getting them all in. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that there because I can use that for the button. Uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. to do <laughs> there. right let's try again all sticky now might go over might it's tamed a little bit It's a good job. No one's going to see that a little bit. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. I am not very good at sewing on buttons. They always go wonky for me, you know, if you've got, like here, I've got two and I want it to go straight across. You can guarantee it's going to look wonky by the time I've finished it. before we sewed it down because um, I think it will be easier. I can see where I'm going now. There we go, I think that's enough. Nearly got it. Right, well, it's not too bad, is it? Okay, so let's just get um, going with in.
terrible. That's not very good at all. But I will pop that under with my needle when I come round to it. I think once um, it might be easier once a few of the bits are sewn down. thread that I'm going to be using it's just a very pale pink so um, it's not really it's just just something different from white um, so I'm going to just where's going to be is, is let's go start on a straight so I'm going to start here and I'm going to bury my my knot underneath this the end off actually never mind took it under there we go okay um i'm not going to go all the way through but all i'm going to do is do a whip stitch all the way around i'm keeping my finger underneath so i can feel if my stitches let's get rid of that one come through So where it sits a little bit um, wide there, I'm going to just see if I can How are you all today? Anyway, hope you're all well. All well. Oh, I can't get my words out. Hope you're all well. Finding time to stitch. It's um, a lovely day here today. Sun's out. It's not mega warm or anything like that. We are in autumn in the UK now, so um, we don't expect <laughs> warmth anymore. Um, but it is a lovely day. Been out this morning. It's a Sunday today, but I don't think I'm going to be posting this um, till probably tomorrow. I think maybe tomorrow, Monday, Monday or Tuesday, maybe. Um, I'm just having a stitching day today, so um, I'm trying to get up on top of things. So I'm, so I fall, I feel as though I've fallen a little bit behind. So I'm trying to get up up to speed and on top of all of my projects so um this is the second one today i've done my mossy forest floor that's you should already or if you also inclined to want to watch my video then um it's already up on on youtube already and this is my second project today i'm hoping to get um 
video. Well, I'm going to prep a video for the my stitching quilt as well. My just because quilt that I'm following along with Corinne from Tool of Um Tool of Treasures by Corinne. Sorry, my mind went blank then. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing my quilt as well later. Hopefully, if I have time. So we'll be starting a new month on that one. And we'll be starting a new, on Wednesday, a new Roxy prompt. Uh, but I've not done this one for a while, so I thought I would get some of this done. Because I want to... Um, don't want to neglect my projects. I don't like having unfinished projects, so I don't mind lots of projects on the go as long as I <laughs> put my mind to finish them, finishing them, not leaving them for too long. Oh, and I've got a Christmas project coming up as well. Another Christmas project. I've, well, I've, I've got um, I've got some cards. I've already done one of the cards, the Christmas tree card with the doily. Um, and then I'm going to. I've got a couple more designs that I want to um, to do and film. My aim this year is not to buy any Christmas cards at all and just to um, to send made ones. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but um, we will see. So, and, but I've also got another. Christmas pre Christmas present, <laughs> Christmas project on the go. Well, it's I've gathered all the, the materials that I need. I just need to um, start filming. But we've got ages yet, haven't we? We're not even in November yet, so there's no rush. Right, I'm going to take that pin out because I need to do a little bit of needle tucking here, I think. Definitely there. I haven't cut too much off or cut into it too much. You can hear background noise, it's just the family. We're all here today. Lots of chitter chatter and Laughing. Although I think watching, I'm sure I can hear a film playing in the other room. I think they're watching a film. Not sure what. It could be. Um, I know they started the reruns of Harry Potter again yesterday, so um, it could be Harry Potter one of the Harry Potter ones. They kind of seem to be on a continual loop in our house. We all love Harry Potter. In fact, my um, youngest daughter, she reminded me that it was five years ago, yesterday I think it was, that we went to the... Um, the, the Harry Potter Studios, I can't remember, it's, it's called Harry Potter Studio Tour or something, um, and that was five years ago we went there, it's absolutely amazing if you, if you go, if you're in the UK and you go, it's, um, oh, it's just, lo I'd, I'd love to go again, it's just so magical, and it's just, everything, well it's from the set, all the sets are there and everything, and, um, and we went Halloween time, so it was all set out with pumpkins and everything. It was a really great time to go when we went. Is it called Warner Brothers Harry Potter Studio Tour or something? I can't remember what it's called now, but um, yeah, brilliant. She had the chance to um, drink the butter beer, which I didn't really like. 
and um, she bought a wand. She was really into it at that five years ago. Five, well, five years ago she was she was twelve. So um, it's a great day out anyway. I'm talking of great days out, I've got a day out this week um, on Friday. Um, off to the NEC at Birmingham to um, the it's it's four four fairs in one I think it's the craft something like creative craft fair there's a Christmas fair there's the cake decorating and something else I can't remember what it is I'm going for the craft really um, but my my daughters are coming with me as well um, that's, I think they're more interested in the Christmas and the cake decorating, but um, we'll go back, go around it all. So we're off off there on Friday. Let me know if there's any UK people who are also going. It's the NEC at Birmingham. So looking forward to that. some time off work so I've got some holidays that needed using up so um, having some time off as well so I'll be doing a lot of stitching next week I think <laughs> you'll be getting fed up of me putting all these videos out I cooked enough or I'm going to have to join it. I think I might just have enough. the last pin yep just enough okay so that's where I'm ending it off and I'm just going to discreetly do a couple of little stitches go in I'm still not going through I can feel 
I'm just going to come up, come up there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just pull my thread a little bit, snip it, and then it'll be inside. There we go. You won't be able to see it. Okay, so that's my heart. That's not too bad, is it? I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then I'm going to attach these. I can't remember which one I said. Uh, I think that was down there, wasn't it? Um, but I can't remember. Where I, Am I still, am I decided, am I decided or not? I don't know. Um, I quite like that there. Um, I don't know. Just trying to think. So that can go down. I want it, so it's going to go like that. Okay. And then on Jessie's um, picture, hang on, let me just move those scissors because they're in the way. Right, just going to pop my lid on my pins. Okay, so on Jessie's picture, she's done this one here and she's done a little, I'm presuming that's like depicting water, you know, the waves of the water that this one is swimming on. Um, I have got instead, I've um, got some Rick Rack in like a turquoise i've got some blue as well somewhere but it's i don't know if it's the right blue oh no it's that gone um oh hang on a minute let me just sit up straight with this um mm -hmm. do, 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 do the right fabrics it was quite a big piece of this on the floor oh no there it is there you go so it's not quite the right, I don't think it's quite the right um, colour. I don't think either. That's quite nice actually though, isn't it? I don't mind that. I quite like that rack. So maybe that. Yeah, so I'm going to put some rip rack. But then I got this ribbon here. I thought, would that be nice? I know it's not wavy, but um, when I was little, <laughs> my mum used to do me bunches. So like, you know, my hair, so you have one each side. And then this is the kind of ribbon that um, she would tie my hair in. I've got pictures of it. We went to a professional photographer once when we were little, me and my brother, and <laughs> my hair was, it was red. It was tied in this anyway. I had two big, two bows of this ribbon. That's what it reminded me of when I saw it. Um, <laughs> it was in a... A vintage haul that I had. I thought, oh, that's this kind of ribbon that I had when I was little to tie up my bunches. Yeah, so there's that anyway. I'm ruffling a bit. There's that one. Nice trim. That's quite nice actually. I know. I think I think it's going to be that colour, that aqua. That will go nice with the. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Um. So that's going to go on when I've done my swan, and then. Fly is going there, isn't it? I think. And then that's going there. Now that has got to have a button. Um, I was, I've got this white one here. I was thinking, what about that? Because that's not too, it's not clashing with anything else then, is it? If I have a colour, not that I'd have that colour, I don't think I'd have that colour. It's kind of going, you've got two buttons, they're both different. But that one there, kind of is not that in your face. So I'm thinking that I'd like that. That's, I've got to, um, that's when I have my, I've got to do that first. I can't do, you know, the tie. So I need to sort out a tie for, to tie for it. So I can't do that yet anyway, because I'm waiting for some fabric for the tie. I've not decided, so. I think I'm going to have that on a tilty little tilty type thing and then so it kind of goes over a little bit over the go a little bit over that maybe yeah okay so let's get the butterfly on um no do you know what I'm not going to do any more because you've seen me do one and it might get a bit boring oh I got this one as well actually I thought this would be nice as well so it might be that, like a little ruffle, because I was going to do a little ruffle on its neck, but it's not, I think it's a bit too big and I can't find my small, I had a smaller one, but 
I can't find it, but that would look quite nice there. And then I've got some, if you have a look on Jessie's here, she's got a couple of X's. She's got some um, trim there, some lacy trim. She's got some little swatches of fabric. Now I've got, um, what have I got? I've got, um, I've got those. Oh, I've got this one here. Look at this. This is um, from a napkin. It's got a little number on it. So I thought I might just pop that on and stitch it on. Uh, I've got some more rip wrap there possibly that's a white um i've got some lace i'm not sure that's I think that's too much oh i've got this piece here as well which i love and i was thinking that could perhaps go i might take the it's got zigzags on at the moment um from pink and shears but i thought you know something probably not there because that's a bit too central but um or like there which and then goes round onto that side depending on what's there I quite like that idea and I love that I think that would look nice actually because oh hang on yeah oh look at that it's coming together isn't it yeah I'm gonna have kind of that I might cut it down a little bit just to have a little bit like that and like that so and then put it down like that size just goes over Nice little decorative touch. I'll have to think about that before I put the key on because I don't want, I don't think it's going to overlap the key actually. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all this off camera because you've seen me just applique this one now. So all I'm going to do is do the same for all of these bits um, and then do a couple of little embellishments. Going to do the water in that. And then what I'll do is I'll come back, I'll show you this and we'll start the next, well, I'm going to start the next one, uh, which is going to be, oh, actually show you the next one that's the next one this is the inside front cover so the second one and it's called heart and dove so I'm, I'm presuming it's the same template for the heart i'm just having a look at mine uh, i'm going to do the same template as i did on that one um, but i'm not going to do a dove i'm going to do a bluebird um you know the old doilies that you get with the bluebird on i'm going to do that instead so that's going to be my bird um, but I'm going to do the cup of tea, I'm going to do the sun and the moon and the flower, um, but yeah, my bird is going to, I think might even face the other way, maybe, I'm not sure actually, because it's going to be on that page, isn't it, that one there, kind of looking over to this side, so it's going to be, it's going to face the same way, but mine's going to be a bluebird anyway, so it's swooping down, so I'm going to leave it there, because I've waffled on enough, um, it like that so it's kind of what's happening at the moment so there's my little book yeah it's coming together so and then i'll be able to start on the next page so um thanks so much for joining me um i hope i haven't waffled on too long <laughs> um so take care and i hope to see you again soon okay bye bye <coughs>